what is up print squad i am back with another video and if you want to see what i'm doing today stay tuned t-shirt chick all right print squad i recently got an order for some buttons for a little league baseball team and as you guys know i had issues with my button maker um the company ended up did end up giving me a refund back but i was allowed to be able to keep the button maker and i had a few supplies so on friday i had someone contact me about doing some buttons so i'm gonna let you guys check out what i have so far and what the designs are looking like and then i'm gonna uh, get the buttons done or get a couple of them done and let you guys check them out and then i'll go ahead and complete the order and then let you check that out so um right here as you guys see um here is on the screen you can see one of the designs i did a few designs i did like two or three designs and let them check them out and you know some of them chose different designs so as you see right here i have all the buttons on the page i was able to get eight buttons i think yeah i was able to get the most was eight buttons on here on one sheet um as you see i have my button supplies this is the off brand badger mint supplies as you guys see right there and back here i have everything set up you know have my circle cutter right here have the button press right here have um this is one of the designs right here one of the buttons and this is the one one of the buttons that came with the um button maker so i just wanted to make sure that i had everything the right size and they it's pretty much the exact same size right here as you guys see the same size i'm going to uh, attempt to go ahead and try to make a button for you guys and let you guys check it out hopefully everything works out well with it because i have about 25 to 27 buttons to make you know i'm gonna let you guys check it out and then i'm gonna finish it up off camera because you i know y'all don't want to sit here and watch me and i got the hand press too so it's gonna be a little process i don't want to have to film all of that so i'm gonna do a little bit and let you guys check it out all right so i'm gonna show you guys how everything is set up these are my cutting boards. This one came with the other cutter that you can actually change the size of it. This one actually came with the Badger Minute cutter right here. So because this one is thicker, I'm going to use it and show you guys how I cut the pictures out. So basically what I do, I, I put it down on here. And let me see if I can show you how I line it up. So, okay, when I put it on here, I have to make sure that it's centered on here. Okay, I think it's pretty much centered. So then I kind of press it down around the button and I take note of where I started, where this part starts it. So you just kind of twist this around and once it gets back there, so there you are. And that's how you cut them out. This one is a little bit off, but it should be, it should be okay. It's not too bad. That's the only thing I'm going to have to um, figure out how to get it exactly perfect. All right. Somehow. Okay, got that off. But that's basically how you cut the buttons out. All right, Prince Squad, I just want to offer a little tip for you guys right here. Um, if you look right here, as you see, I'm kind of keeping my buttons separated. All the ones that are the same, I put them under there. I mean, it's not anything like nothing major, but it's just a little tip. You can, you know, keep them under here because like in here in my shop, I have the, the fan and the AC blowing and all these will be blue onto the floor or, you know, blue out of the way if i didn't do that so now i'm gonna go ahead and uh let you guys see me make a button and keep fingers crossed and hope everything works out all right print squad i got everything set up and ready to go i'm about to start busting out these buttons i actually have an order for 25 buttons and i have just enough materials to get everything done or button supplies to get everything done so i'm gonna let you check everything out this is my setup right here um, i'm using 
well this is you know I just have everything set up like this so that I have you know I can get a little technique going um, using this to hold down these so that they won't fly away I'm starting with this one first and have all my button parts here and I have my instructions here because I haven't done them in a while so I know already that it's going to take a little bit before I get used to it and one thing that I was wondering if it's causing an issue like right here you can see that this part kind of messed up a little bit right there I don't know if y'all can see that little part in there is kind of messed up a little bit but hopefully that won't cause too many problems today all right so I got everything together I'm going to uh try to go ahead and get started okay first you take this blue tab you stick this silver one the flat part in you stick it in here and then you take your design which will be right here and you place it in here all right so I got that then you take your mylar sheet right here place that on top of here and I'm going to take the yellow part next right here and make sure I got this in here straight all right take this and put it in here all right you're supposed to put that in there firmly but don't twist it too much okay so I have that like that now I will turn this upside down I'll place the purple ring inside and the green right here and on a flat surface you pop that through like that okay we got that through so the next thing we're going to do is remove this and the backing sometimes it's kind of hard to get this purple out which makes it a bit irritating trying to get this purple ring out okay we got that out so now we would take this red and we would push it down through here all right once we got that we flip it over and we take this button back and make sure that it's lined up it's like some lines right here make sure that it's lined up perfectly with those lines all right so it is so the red ring was supposed to stay here I believe and then the green one goes here and then I would take the hand press right here and move these out of the way and place it right below this little ridge right here make sure it's in there good and press down on it and now it should be a formed button so we got it right here then as I see right here is I cut I put that name down too low as you see right there you can't even see the name you can't see the name because I have it down too low so I'm gonna have to move the name up so y'all see your girl having having issues with the button maker but yeah the names are too close to the bottom on this and and it's not gonna work as y'all see right there but it's a learning process I just cut all these out I'm about to have to redo them all y'all all right y'all I'm gonna show y'all what I got now because I had a little issue earlier I'm a little bit close on the camera so right here as you see I ended up having to move like right here you can see this right here this design is too low there's where I had to move it up to so hopefully everything works out this time y'all uh, I did mess up one of the buttons in process of doing this so I'm gonna show it to y'all my bad I had the AC on had to turn it off but I'm gonna show it to y'all but I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how to fix that because I got just enough buttons to do them all but I'm gonna figure out how to fix that and then I'm gonna um you know have it fixed at the end of the video so here's the button that I messed up I actually already took the mylar cover off 
so it's not glossy or anything it's just going to be the paper you can see part of the milo i don't know if y'all can see that but it's it's on there but i'm gonna figure out how to open this thing up and i'm gonna fix it because i only have enough to do this or i'm gonna be short a button so i'm gonna go ahead and try to press again and let you guys check it out so i'm gonna start with william since that's the one i messed up last time I'm gonna put the rest of these on this side now i did order some these are the off brand badger mint ones right here and these are the real badger mint ones over here and as y'all see like when i'm cutting them out it's a little bit of white around the bottom but that shouldn't it shouldn't affect anything because that part is going to be folded under anyway but yeah y'all can check it out right here so hopefully everything works out with them this time okay so got this and we're gonna take one of the tops right here you put that in and the top of the button thing is right here so you want to make sure that's lined up right and we put that right there here's my bag of the fresh ones so i'm gonna grab this fresh one right here pop it on there now they said when you put this yellow on here you don't want it to be too tight because it can mess up the thing so it's right there i got it on there i'm going to flip it over and i am going to take this right here and the green and press it through okay now that it's through there all right so i was supposed to remove the green and purple right here hopefully that's right it's not quite top so i take this and then i press it through all right I leave that red in there and then i i leave that red in there and then I get the back right here and I place it on here and I line it up. Line it up with that. And then I place this green one right here. And once I do that, I'm ready to press it. Let me slide this out the way. Right. Go ahead and slide this off of here. Put this beneath there make sure everything is in the camera and voila i think i'm gonna say voila because i'm hoping everything came out right all right so bing we came out with a good button y'all this one came out perfect everything is laying down and tucked in so yeah this one came out perfect so y'all i have a few of these to do i don't want to mess them up i already messed up one i got to figure out how to fix it but as you see Y'all see it came out decently right here. The back, everything is tucked and everything the way it's supposed to be. This is with the badgerment, the off brand one right here. So yeah, and it's, this is how it will be on your shirt. So it's, you know, it's fixed correctly and everything. So that's my first button. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these y'all. I don't need to mess up, so I ain't gonna be filming. So once I get them done, I will uh, show y'all everything. Once I get it, everything done. So I'm going to check back shortly once I finish. All right, Prince Squad. I forgot to do the outro for this video. So this is the next day. So right here, as you see, um, I have the buttons right here. Um, these are all the completed buttons that I have, the ones that came out good. Um, you can see them right there. I had a total of 25 buttons to do, but actually... I ended up messing up six buttons. Buttons that I messed up were right here. Like, I mean, it it's just got like a little part hanging out right here on a couple of them. That one didn't lay down perfectly. Yeah, right here it's got a little part that, that didn't lay down, as you see right there. Just some slight, slight mess ups right there. And And this one right here just kind of is loose back in this area right there. So 
I just had to, you know, let the customer know what happened because this was a last minute order and she actually did understand. She was actually supposed to pick the buttons up yesterday, but she was like, uh, see what I can do and she'll just get them this morning. But what I ended up doing is I didn't charge her for the buttons that was messed up. Even if I would have been able to fix them, I would have just gave them to her. Yeah, even if I would have been able to fix them, I would have just gave them to her for the inconvenience. It was six of them that was messed up. I did these buttons for three dollars each and I was supposed to have 25. So it was 19 buttons that I sold. The profit that I made was more than what I paid for the button maker and the supplies that I use. But um, yeah, it was kind of short notice. I got it. Uh, it was almost end of day on Friday. So this is was all I could do. I tried going on Amazon to see if I could get more supplies, but they wouldn't be in until today. And y'all know how that goes because you don't never know what time the mailman comes. Then sometimes it could be late. So I didn't want to um, tell them, yeah, I could have it done or whatever. But when they told me they needed them Tuesday, but yeah, that's that's about all I have for you guys today. If you liked the video or found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And also subscribe to the Red Channel, T-Shirt Chick Live. I do live streams Monday through Friday on that channel at 10 a.m. Central Time. And I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in another video. Prince Squad out.